Previously on Left Behind. I bring before you my mentor and friend Chaim. He is to be a Moses to your people, Israel. But I fear that his heart is faint. Oh God, oh God, who am I that I should bring the children of Israel out? Chang. Sir. I want to kill myself. Chang, too many people are counting on you, and the very success of a life and death operation is in your hands. Shuv Yarcha Eved Ha Elohim. What just happened here? <gasps> Who are you? Based on Desecration, the ninth book in the best-selling series, Tyndale House Publishers proudly presents episode 98 of the dramatic audio edition of Left Behind. Who's there? Is there someone here? I know I locked the door. <gasps> who, who, who are you? What do you want? Don't come any closer. Daughter, you are greatly beloved of God. <gasps> Understand the words I speak to you and stand upright, for I have been sent to you. I, I can't. Stand, daughter. <gasps> this the, the same thing that happened to the rabbi? Do not fear, for from the first day you humbled yourself before your God, your words were heard. Can, can I ask who you are? I am Michael. Michael. Okay. The same one who spoke to Sion. Michael, what are you, you supposed to tell me? O oh, daughter, greatly beloved, fear not. Peace be to you, be strong, yes, strong. Accept not the blasphemy of the evil one and his false prophet. Okay, um, I, I don't accept what the evil one says. But what am I supposed to... What can I do? Those who turn many to righteousness shall shine like the stars forever and ever. Many shall be purified, made white and refined. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. Uh, maybe, maybe... Maybe I'm supposed to speak out against lies. Why, why me? There are so many who are older in the faith and can speak so much better. Ah, it's good to see you again, David. Oh, I'm glad we finally made it. Oh, let me introduce you to Hannah. No, we don't have time. Listen, okay. we'll get better acquainted later. First, you need to get online as soon as possible. A whole lot of stuff revolves around Carpathia's next move. Oh, sure. Uh, this table okay? Help yourself. Oh, just take me a couple of seconds. I left the laptop in sleep mode. Every minute counts right now. Bingo. A nice job, Chang. Here's an SPMC that's ten minutes old. A supreme potentate. And a master clock. Perfect. Just what we need. Yeah. Well, there's a meeting with, uh, well, uh, you can see the initials there. Fortunato, Moon, Akbar, the rest. Well, that's happening now. Who's LH? No clue. Well, let's see if Chang has the audio patch to this IP. PHX1, that's the Phoenix? Yeah, so it might be a little hard to hear. We still have our ears there? Oh, absolutely. They've replaced Mac with a guy named Figueroa, but we've hardwired the output of the listening system to a scrambled subcarrier of one of the navigational radios. If they've got power, we've got ears. Very nice. What are we hearing? Right away, Excellency. Uh, let me turn it on. Reverend Fortunato would like to update you on the image and the animal. Fine. What? I just saw him. Where did he go? Uh, the head, sir, feeling some discomfort. Well, what, 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 what is the problem? I don't know. Ah, he was sitting here a moment ago, Walter. Uh, squirming. About what? Uh, I'm sorry, sir, I just... Really... Oh, well, find out, would you? And let's get Akbar and Hutt in here, now! 
Would you have the morale monitor chief and the intelligence director ushered on board immediately, please, and have the purser check on Reverend Fortunado? Who? Fortunado, first class can. <laughs> oh, an apt description, Mr. Wu. I didn't mean that, sir. I was just... Oh, for- can we get on with this, Walter? Should Fortunado not find his way back here, what is he going to tell me about the image and the animal? He didn't tell me, Lordship, but he seemed very excited. Until he went to the bathroom in discomfort. Uh, precisely. Well... Yeah. Walter, tell Suhail if he does not have his new man aboard in 30 seconds. Here they come now, sir. Well, forgive the delay, potentate, but... uh... Oh, sit, both of you. Director Akbar, where did you find this tall specimen, and why is he not still a rodeo cowboy in Calgary? hmm? I enjoy rope and dissidence more, sir. (laughs) I was not speaking to you, Chief Hutt, but... (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) You saved yourself with that answer, yeah? Got everything you need? Yes, sir. Yes, potentate. Sir, will not cut it when addressing your risen lord. Absolutely. And... Excellency, lordship, potentate, I was told. I just misspoke there. You would mock me? Uh, no, sir, a potentate. I asked you a question. I would not mock. Whether you have what you need, imbecile. Honestly, Director Akbar, this is the best we could do? He is quite accomplished and decorated, Excellency. <laughs> and you worship me? Hmm? Whenever I can. <laughs> is every morale monitor armed, Hutt? Here in Israel, yes, they are. Good. And everywhere else by the end of next week. Your top priority is here, Hutt. You understand that? Absolutely. And then it is to arm every one of your troops. Yes. Excellent. <clears throat> Leon, <clears throat> your bed. Uh, forgive me, Lordship. Sit, please. I meet. rather stand, uh, if you don't mind, Excellency. And I have met Mr. Hutt. Impressive young man. Yeah. Well, I am glad you find him so. I will decide for myself by the end of next week when I learn whether he has accomplished his task. And I will be interested to know how he handles the incorrigibles here. I just can't imagine anybody giving you a problem here, but if they do... Uh, Yes, tell me, Hutt, uh, what do you have in store for someone who would be so impudent as to oppose me here in the Holy City? They would be immediately apprehended and incarcerated. Wrong! Wrong answer! Akbar, I swear, there must be better material to choose from in the global community than this sorry excuse for a human being! No, sir, I mean, I would have them killed, potentate, on the spot, or I would kill them myself. Mm, That's better. And how would you do this? Probably shoot them. Mm -hmm. Where? In the street, in public, in front of everybody. I mean, where on their body? Their body? Where would you shoot them? In the heart or in the head, potentate, for a sure kill. No. You have how many rounds in your personal sidearm? Me? I'm carrying a semi-automatic with a nine-shell clip. Use it all. All? Start with the hands. First one. And when they grab it, the other. As they scream and dance and turn and try to flee, shoot first one foot, then the other. Uh, I see. Do you? As they lie howling and others abandon them in fear, you still have uh, five rounds, do you not? Yes. Both knees. Each shoulder. Particularly painful. Make them change their mind, Hot. Make them say they love me and that they are sorry they opposed me. And you know what to do with the final round. Heart? (sighs) Cliché. No creativity. There. There. You put the hot muzzle of the weapon to their forehead, right where their mark should be. And you ask if they are prepared to pledge their loyalty, and even if they scream to the heavens that they have seen the light, you give them their own mark. And then? And then? (laughs) What do you do, Hut? With a dead victim at your feet, nine rounds in or through the body, surely you don't leave the carcass in the street! Uh, No, I'd have him hauled off. To the guillotine! Sir! Potentate! The price of disloyalty is the head, Hart. But they are... Already dead. dead. Of course! You see, the world must be clear on the choice and the consequence. Dead or not, a disloyal citizen forfeits his head. It's quite easy, really. All right. I see. Did you know, Hutt, that when a live victim is beheaded, the heart can continue to beat for more than half an hour? No. 
I hope you are not too timid for your job, son. I'm not. I'll shoot your bad guys and chop their heads off, but I don't need to check the other victims to see if Do they're... you not? I do! This is life and death, Hut. I have come to give life. But to the one who chooses to place their loyalty elsewhere, well, they have chosen death. See, what could be more stark, more clear, more black and white? I understand, potentate. Do you? I think so. You will. <laughs> now go. We had a big week ahead. Be prepared. Oh, I hope this works. Recording. Dr. Benjuda, this is Hattie. Um, I, I wanted you to know that, well, I... <laughs> I had a visitor in my hotel room, and it sounded an awful lot like what happened to you in your dream. I think God wants me to confront Nikolai tomorrow. I, now, I admit, there are so many others who are more worthy, they've studied longer, and are a lot brighter. But all I can do is believe what Michael told me. Um, anyway, I'm setting the timer to deliver this message after Carpathia walks the Via Dolorosa. Partly because I know you'll try to talk me out of it. Maybe I should have talked to you first, but... I don't know. I really feel like I just need to exercise some faith and believe God. If I chicken out, I'll know God wasn't behind this and I'll stop the transmission. But if, if you do receive this... I assume I won't see you until you're in heaven. I love you. I love you all. Thank you for being my friends. Goodbye. Leon, do you not agree that fear is a form of worship? In your case, certainly, Excellency. The fear of our God is the beginning of wisdom. Oh, I like that. Uh, biblical, is it not? Yes, Lordship. Mm. Oh. Sit, Leon, please. I'd like to, but... Uh, well, all right. Mm, good. Uh, uh, what? What is it, my friend? Is your food disagreeing with you? No, excuse me, but... <laughs> a true friend feels free to scratch himself in front of his risen potentate. I right? am so sorry, Excellency. Oh. Think nothing of it. You are in such discomfort because your hip itches? What? I'm afraid it's more than that, sir, but I'd rather not... Right, bring me up to date on your assignments, then. <clears throat> the animal is in place? Please, feel free to call it what it is, Leon. The pig. Oh, I hear it is much more than a pig. A hog, a sow, a huge, ugly, snorting, smelly beast. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, I cannot wait to see it. <laughs> Anytime you wish, Excellency. Well, I am due aboard her not long from now. Yes, sir. We were concerned you would have slipped off. Would have? I had a saddle made for you, Excellency. Leon, you do not say. A saddle for a swine? <laughs> and the biggest swine I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, I should hope so. How did you do it, Leon? People are happy to serve you, potentate. Oh, it must be wide. No, I worry you will feel as if you are doing the splits. You look as if you would like to, Leon. Stand if you must, please. Oh. There you <clears throat> go. And, and yes, scratch if you must. Oh, I'm so sorry, Excellency. You are wriggling like a schoolboy at his first dance. Uh, forgive me. I'd better head back. Oh, go then. The... And tell Walter to come in here with that costume. I wanted to tell you about the image. And I want to hear it, but I cannot stand to see you in such... Agony, go. Excellency, the caravan to pilot's court will be leaving inside uh, ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Did Reverend Fortunato run down the sights for you? <laughs> no, he seems to be in considerable discomfort. Still, well, we go from pilot's court to the street. A ways down, we have Viv Ivins in place to meet with you as a stand-in for your mother. Here's where we have a young woman come out and wipe your face. Then two stops later, you exhort the women of Jerusalem. And then after Golgotha, you see Viv again playing your mother. And then it's on to the garden, too. All right, all right, all right, here. Cut out half of these. Uh, this part. Right, and uh, that one with Viv and, and this. And, and the one with the young woman and the speech, the women. Oh, 
Here, this one. Uh, may I ask... The point Potter is reenacting, Walter. Half of this never happened uh, anymore. We don't know that. They're traditional... They never happened. Believe me. I know. You'll uh, want to change clothes now? Yeah, as soon as Leon is finished in the... <coughs> ah, Leon. Feeling better? Uh, sadly, no. What is it that seems to be bothering you? I'd rather not talk about it, sir. Nonsense! Is it a bite? I don't think so, sir. It's rather large and mm -hmm. appears infected. So, and it is right there on the uh, seat of the church, as it were? Uh, yes. Oh, poor man. A sore right there on your left. Yes, on my uh, behind. <laughs> Come now. You, you must tell me about the image, please. I was hoping you'd notice. Notice? What? My mark. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me see, let me see. On your hand. Oh, striking. Two, one, six. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Oh, does it hurt? I wouldn't know because of the... Oh, uh, yes, 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 well, of course. Anyway, I'll show you the chosen image. It's life-size and gold <sighs> and beautiful. After taking the mark of loyalty, I fell before it and worshipped. Bless you, Leon. And... May you heal quickly. <laughs> All right, if you'll gather around, we'll go over what's ahead of us. <coughs> Deputy Commander Elbaz, a.k.a. Albi, will ferry Mr. Hasid to Petra, where he'll begin setting up the comm center. Now, David is Jewish by blood, so he plans to stay with the displaced believers. Question. Is this the same Mr. Hasid who set up our cover for today? It is. And he'll be the first to tell you he had help. But it's safe to say without the GC thinking this is a wing of their operation, we'd be taking fire right now. How realistic is it to think this can last? Realistic? <laughs> the truth is we're in no man's land. Once the fleeing Israelis are followed here, a trained monkey will be able to figure out what's up. So enjoy it while you can. Exactly. Again, the healthy will walk... And we count on God to protect them in whatever manner he chooses. The elderly, the toddlers, the infirmed will need rides. That's our job. We've got varied capacity, but only a 50-mile trip. So fill them up, get there quick, get back without bumping into each other. Oh, and keep an eye out for AA, since we're not sure how long it'll take Carpathia to move those resources into the area. It sounds like a death flight. That's a fair assessment, on a human level. But oh, wait, the co-op didn't call for food or clothing for these people. How are they going to survive? Anyone want to address that? I heard that God's going to provide manna and water, and their clothes won't wear out. Ah, see that? A fine example of what happens when you keep Dr. Ben Judah's web address handy. <laughs> Good. Okay, last point. The one thing we're not sure of is timing. Carpathia is on schedule to begin his little parade on the Via Dolorosa at 1100 hours. That'll end at the Garden Tomb. Whether he'll speak from there or head to the temple, we don't know. Are your people in place, Captain? As far as we know. The only one we haven't heard from isn't crucial to the operation. When exactly will Carpathia be opposed? Not sure. Our man may debate him before he enters the temple. Who knows? Okay, it's time for transportation troops to head towards Israel. Once the hammer falls, try to help anyone who needs it. What if we're stopped? You're on your own. I'm going to tell him I'm on my way to get the mark of loyalty. That's not exactly true. I have no problem lying to Carpathia's people. Well, I do. Do what God tells you to do. We're depending on him to protect his chosen people and those who are here to help them. That's the bottom line. God be with you all. You all right? Uh, You'd tell uh, me, wouldn't you, if there was a problem? Uh, Doc, uh, Doc, uh, God will be with you. He'll give you the strength and courage you need. Now stay right here. I'm going to make a call. Buck? Hey, you all right? Oh, that's not the question of the moment. I want to know where you are and if you're all right. I'm fine, hon, I'm fine. I'm sitting on a perch above Pilot's Court. I'm having second thoughts about our Moses. I mean, Ben Judah would have been so much better. I'm just trembling. What's that noise? 
Well, it's one of the military trucks telling people they have to take the mark. Well, what are you going to do if they check you? Uh, I haven't figured that out yet. Oh, great. People are lining up to take the mark at the temple. Parents are carrying their kids waving palm branches. They're passing out lyric sheets to hail Carpathia. I tell you, it's like bugs going down the drain. Nice. Well, we got an overhead shot on TV that shows Nick and company pulling up. Can you see him yet? Okay, we've got the mucky mucks all getting out. First car's local slugs, and yep, there's the most high reverend. Can you say overdressed? Looks like he's got an itch in his caboose. <laughs> Who's in the second car? I can't see from here. Oh, hang on. They're showing the titles underneath as they get out. You got Akbar, Moon. Oh, and Viv Ivins is heading for the mic. Can you see Leon? <sighs> he's still scratching like crazy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. And would you please join with me in singing the now popular anthem to our Lord and Risen King? Hun, I'm going back to Prop Up High. Tell Sion and the others to pray like crazy, okay? Only God can help us now. Well, we're praying. And don't even think about doing something stupid and getting killed. I guess I'll have to cross that off my list, huh? Yeah, you better. Hey, I love you. I love you, too. Bye. Do you believe this? I just heard from Buck. He's pretty close to the action. Hmm. Nikolai's ride on his pig sickens me. It looks like he's decided not to address the crowds until either the garden tomb or the temple mount. Does that pig look sick to you? Hmm. He probably drugged it to get it to go along with his charade. Okay, now where's he going? Oh, he's jogging up to the traditional site of Calvary. Oh, I don't think I can watch. Oh, there goes Fortunato, tagging along behind him. Behold the lamb who takes away the Oh, boy. Here goes. I have been imbued with power from on high to call down fire on the enemies of the king of this world. You need not fear if you are loyal to your risen ruler. Let the loyalists declare themselves. Today, you shall worship the image of your god. But now you have the opportunity to praise him in person. All glory to the lover of your souls. How many of you will receive the mark of loyalty even this day at the Temple Mount. My Lord, the very God of this world, has granted me the power to know your heart. Not true. Not I true. Say again, Doc. Carpathia, Antichrist, Satan is not omniscient. He cannot tell this false prophet what he himself cannot know. He is lying. That's hell. I know. Woe unto you who God would take the place of her. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the true Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. I have spoken. Yours is the empty, vain tongue of the damned. Silence! There is one God and one mediator between God and man. The man, Christ Jesus. You will now Feel the anger of your Lord and God! <laughs> Behind, the dramatic audio series is based in part on the book Desecration by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. Adapted for radio by Chris Fabry. Music by Steve Wick. Sound design by Glenn West. Directed and produced by Todd Bastide. Left Behind, the dramatic audio series is a production of Gap Digital and Tyndale House Publishers. Thank you for listening.